Today is January the 25th, 2021. I was sitting in the kitchen having a cup of coffee. And about 3.11, I was transported to another location. I noticed that when I was, where I was transported to, I was standing on, on a rise, on a, like a slope on a hill. And I looked down and, and, and the first thing I noticed was that the, it was rocky and and dirt and it was like limestone rock and there was some tufts of grass here and there but not much very rocky and then I looked ahead 15 to 20 feet away on the ground and there was a cross it had a bloody body laying on the cross the arms and the legs were bound with leather straps and his body it had a strap around his body, around the back of the cross, to hold him to the cross. The leather straps were thick leather, about an inch wide. And there were four or five Roman soldiers uh, huddled around his right arm. They were kneeling on the ground. I saw them take a spike, and it, and it wasn't a round spike like we have today. It was square with a head on it, about six inches long. And I saw them drive that nail through his wrist. Some of the soldiers fell back because of the sprayed blood. When that nail went through his wrist, his whole body went into a tremor and almost tore itself apart because of the pain that he was experiencing. He said nothing during this period of time. But there was a low moan that I could hear coming from the body. The soldiers then went to the other side. They didn't have to hold him down. He just laid there. I guess it was the captain of the, of the squad who handed the hammer and nailed to another soldier, and he said, you do this one. These soldiers were not little men. They were muscled, hard men. They'd been in battle. I'd seen, uh, I mean, they, they just looked, they were tough. The soldier took the spike and hammer and put it on the wrist above the hand. And as he touched the wrist, he, he said, I can't do this. The captain swore something and said, I'll do it. And he grabbed that spike and he brought that hammer from above his head and drove that spike through his arm into the wood. Then he hit it three more times. To make sure the nail was solid. The whole body went into convulsions, almost tearing itself apart again because of the pain that was being experienced. The soldiers were wiping blood from their faces because of the spray that they got. The captain called another soldier over that hadn't been there with the arms and gave him the nail and hammer. He went down to his feet and, and they laid one ankle on top of the other. The feet were both going in the same direction, one on top of the other. The spike this time was a long spike, 10 inches. When the nail was placed on top of the ankle, and the first hit sent the spike through the first ankle. His whole body convulsed, came completely up from the cross where he was laying and they had to replace the ankle with a spike through it on top of the other ankle. They didn't wait for the convulsions to stop. He took another large hit. He went through the ankle and started into the wood. He hit it four more times. bodies convulsing extremely hard as they finish nailing it to the wood. They all stand up and they're wiping blood from their faces and hands and arms. The armor's covered in blood and the one in charge wanted this done and over with. He ordered six men to come over from the group that was standing back. Two on each cross piece and two at the head. As they drug the cross over to the rough ground, with rather large rocks, I could hear the moans of pain. They laid the cross on the ground and they removed all the leather straps from their arms and body. He never opened his mouth. 
they drug it over to the to the hole that that had been dug and put the end of the cross into the hole then they started to lift it all six men went to the center piece the center of the cross and they walked the cross upright and dropped it in it must have been a three-foot hole it's almost like it echoed when it hit bottom the body again convulsed like never before. Everything was now hanging on steel nails. The cross was already bloody, but now they were, there was fresh rivers of red blood flowing from his feet. The soldiers didn't walk or blow his hands because there were streams of blood still flowing. They stamped some dirt in the, around the hole and they leveraged rocks like wedges into the hole to hold the cross. The sky was all of a sudden very dark. You could hear thunder roll and the flashes of light. The soldiers were looking at the sky because the storm clouds came up very fast. The soldiers who were laughing and joking were quiet. I realized that I was seeing the crucifixion of Christ. I heard one of the soldiers say, truly this must have been the Son of God.